a pleasant day, STEM learners. This is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. For today's lesson, we will talk about the null and the alternative hypothesis. So at the end of this video lesson, you should be able to illustrate and formulate the appropriate null and alternative hypothesis on a population technique. So what is hypothesis testing? Hypothesis testing has gained wide acceptance in many situations, wherein we have to make some decisions. So hence, it is generally known as a decision-making process for evaluating claims about a population based on the characteristic of a sample purportedly coming from the population. So the goal of hypothesis testing is for you to become wise decision maker in life because you are going to prove and disprove claims. So it involves deciding between two opposing hypotheses. We have the what we call the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. So hypothesis testing is another area of inferential statistics because we are already done with estimation. So that is how they are different from each other. So how does it differ from estimation? that was taken up in the previous chapter. So while estimation is concerned with determining specific parameter values, so it just focuses on the upper boundaries and the lower boundaries. Huh? Testing hypothesis is hypothesizing about the population parameter and subjecting that hypothesis into a test. So that's why it is called testing hypothesis. So the plural form of hypothesis is hypothesis. So how do we do it? So first, we get a random sample to make a decision as to whether the hypothesis is acceptable or not. So that's the type of decision making that we do. So what is a null hypothesis? So a null hypothesis is a statement which states that there is no significant difference between the observed value of the parameter and its hypothesized value, meaning that the parameter is equal to the hypothesized value. So if there is no difference, then they are equal. So examples of null hypotheses, the average content of Coke Sacto bottles is 200 ml, or the mean score of the students in a national examination is equal to 90. So whenever there is equality, it means there is no significant change or no significant difference or no significant relationship. That's why the symbol is equal sign. For the alternative hypothesis, it is the statement that, that there is a significant difference between the observed value of the parameter and its hypothesized value. For example, so if there is a difference, meaning we use inequalities such as greater than, less than, or not equal. So the average content of Coke Sacto bottle is more than 200 ml. Or the mean score of the students in the national exam is not equal to 90. So notice that on the first example, we use the greater than symbol for more than and the not equal symbol for the second example, respectively. Let's have an example. So Pedro claims that the average length of a Pinoy song is five minutes. He obtained a sample of 10 Pinoy songs to see if the claim is true. So when you write H sub zero, which is our null hypothesis, so we have mu is equal to pi. And for the alternative hypothesis, we use the symbol H sub one, which is mu is not equal to pi. What about if Pedro claims 
that the average length of a Pinoy song is greater than five minutes. So notice that the greater than symbol uh, is written on the alternative hypothesis because the alternative hypothesis gives the direction of the test. No? So later, we will talk about the directions of test. So if you see a greater than symbol, then it must be present on the alternative hypothesis. And then put the opposite of the symbol on the null hypothesis. So it becomes less than. And observe, there is an equality symbol okay, that you have to use for the null hypothesis. So that's the exactly the opposite with equality. And of course, changing that one, if Pedro claims that the Apinoy song has a length less than five minutes, so therefore, your alternative hypothesis will be mu is less than five. While the um, null hypothesis is mu is greater than or equal to five. Exactly the opposite. But do not forget that always we put the equality symbol on the null hypothesis because there is no significant difference. So we are now done with this first topic in week number one. Again, this is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher.